Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine if you are new here. Usually we're doing DIYs and makeovers, but this time we have to organize this craft mess. So we're going to go from this to this, and let's not waste any time and get started. You ready to do this, Nala? She's like, I know. I want to go to sleep. Thank you very much until you get dinner ready. <laughs> All right, first things first. This rug's got to go, but I'm leaving it here for now in case I get any dust or grime, and it'll be less clean if I can just throw this out. All right, you all. This is embarrassing, but it's the truth. When I get overwhelmed, I get very overwhelmed, and then I don't know where to begin. But I'm going to do like my best friend Bree told me and work on one room at a time. So we are working on the living room and that closet. Besides getting everything out of the house, what I need to do is I have this old dresser we've had for years. It's missing handles and knobs and all the things. I have to get the other piece that's up there out of the garage because it has like junk in it or stuff from a long time ago. But we're going to take all the paint and products that we can and put them in there. I'm thinking transfers and stuff in the top. Then we've got paint and then other necessities that I need all of the time. Because in this closet, we've got way too much going on. It's not working for me. It's still a disaster. And I've started throwing stuff other places. So we've got a lot to do. This is the room we're focusing on today. The first thing I need to do is get some of these VHSs out of the floor. And if you're a younger generation, just ask your parents. But these are actual video cassette tapes that my family grew up on. And my mom did not want to get rid of them. So now they are going to my nieces and nephews. I have stuff everywhere. It's absolutely driving me insane, along with my husband, but he has been very, very patient. So I'm just clearing things out. So let's start this cleaning montage and just get everything organized. And I hope this inspires you to get clean and organize your space as well, because it will truly help you in the long run. I think that's one reason I have a creative block, because there is stuff everywhere. But today, we're just getting to the closet, not this entire room. Let me know in a comment down below if you like clean with me and organize with me videos. And trust me, I got plenty of spaces where I can do that for you. New product, mineral powder that I'll be testing out soon and she sent me Night Sky. This is my Long Legacy Paint. 20% off discount handcrafted from Home 20 over on longlegacypaint.com. So go try out some of her new colors. And yeah, new stuff coming. Lots of my milk paint. This is old fashioned, but I'm going to be ordering some more. Sweet Piggins, same company, different brands, so to speak, but same owners. And both, both brands are excellent. So old fashioned or Sweet Piggins. I'll leave a link down below where you can get it. Y'all, if you can't tell, I have so much paint. I'm pretty sure I have more out in the garage. That is a whole nother world out there that I have to go through. But I'm thinking this month I can bring you an organized garage video and we can go through all the junk out there. Are you like me and absolutely obsessed over beautiful papers? I got these from Vintage Bandits and she has beautiful Monaghan papers and I'm getting really into uh, JRV's decoupage papers which I will have a new video coming to you soon with an awesome collab here in the middle of the month look at those owls I love owls that one is my favorite I just don't know what to use it on yet comment down below what you think I should use it on I bet you think that I should calm down I 
have quite a selection of IOD products and I absolutely love their stamps and I have JRV stencils along with some other brands and I'm just separating things because I need to clean them and actually I was getting ready for a live too so you got to see that but I'm going to go through everything pull everything out of the closet and you all it was just a lot I did this over a couple of days and even if you don't have a large space I mean I don't have a lot of storage but I'm making it work so remember it doesn't have to be Pinterest perfect it just needs to work for you if you're like me and only say have a coat closet to put all of your everyday DIY products in you need to take advantage of the vertical space and that's what I'm doing here I put hooks in the wall I'm hanging some of my transfers that are still in the tube the older generation and then my stencils and then I'll also hang something up on the other side of the wall as well so remember take advantage of vertical space When I'm organizing, I like to take everything out and separate it by type. So now what I'm going to do with this wire shelf is put a bunch of my mixing ingredients on the top or things I use to clean furniture and then below that I'll put my spray paint and then I'll put my spray sealers and even my latex paint on the very very bottom and it's going in the garage. It is not staying in here anymore. These are just Dollar Tree baskets I hung up on the other side of the wall and I'm putting heat gun and some other odds and ends that I need and I hung another basket right above it. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. These lid racks are super cheap because they're only a dollar from Dollar Tree and they bend really, really easy. And I'm just bending each section of them up because I'm going to use this as a storage option on the wall in the closet. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out where the road goes Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. you all let's see what we have going on what we've got done I've got some of the brushes that I use all of the time in here my nicer brushes and they will sit close by because I pull this out a lot whenever I'm doing my videos I've got some of these other brushes artist brushes I hope to get some of the turquoise iris brushes soon up here I just did extra of cut full scissors you know 
odds and ends, scrapers and things like that. I've also got scrapers, scissors, pens, pencils, cut tools and stuff in this one as well. Like marker or ink or something of that sort and it, this wouldn't fit up here with this tape. So I set that in there. All of my hot glue, which I'm sure there's more somewhere. This is anything related to, uh, I got my IOD clay, my Sculpey clay and anything clay related extra like foam brushes and things of that sort. Some of the sanding pads and stuff that I use here. I have this extra down here because it won't fit. There is like my glues. I got some gloves in here as well. I've got some extra rope twine and those things. And then this is my resin, which I'll be doing a video hopefully within the next month or so on resin. If you want to see some cool projects on that. My Cricut setup and then uh, something else that I have that's for electronics. I was going to put my like canvas drop cloths and stuff in here, but it just wasn't working out and wasn't enough room. So I have some of my foam and things of that sort in this super adhesive, multi-purpose adhesive in there with it because I'll most likely need it for that. In the top, I'm gonna keep some of my current florals that I'll be using. I have two or three totes in the garage, which you'll see in an upcoming garage video. Um, these are just rags that I can use along with my canvas drop cloth. In this, I put my molds and these are just some stamps my grandma gave me. These will probably get moved out to the garage eventually because I plan to get way more molds than this. And these are just things I can use randomly or use with the kids when they come over. And then up here, I put like any mixing like things. So with skewers, wooden sticks, you know, um, tongue compressors, you know, popsicle sticks, things like that. Got my hot glue gun. And then we've got my heat gun or embossing tool and my brayers up here. And this is where Ryan hung that plate rack <laughs> that I bent up in the beginning of the video. And I'm actually able to keep some of my thin mounts and like plastic palettes on that I use to mix up paint. We've got all of the two the transfers that are in tubes here. Those will eventually be completely gone and I can hang some different things. And my stencils will go here. Up top we've got transfers and decorative paper and decoupage paper, which this will be used here in a couple weeks. So make sure you all are subscribed so you can see what I do. We've got stamps in here, which I could put those other stamps in here, but I don't know. I don't use them enough for that. Here I have all my Waverly paint, which I heard is going away from Walmart. So, but there's that. Any of those type of um, special effects paints, like crackle or, you know, things that you would use for your um, ceiling that's not DIY or sweet pickings. And then some acrylic paints over here. And these drawers, you guys, if you've got an old dresser, it makes way more room. Um, I laid these flat, like I said, for now, because I want to be able to see the color of it. So these are my long legacy paints and my sweet Mickens, sweet Mickens, sweet Pickens milk paint, along with um, Old Fashioned, which is the same company. So, and down below, we've got all the glorious DIY paint. So let's get it all in here. Walking on fire, trying not to burn my feet. I'm tired of fighting, saying things we don't. All right, friends, let's take a look at the before, and now we finally have some organization in this closet and it makes way more sense to me again it does not have to be pinterest perfect would i love a beautiful decorated organized space of course i would but i'm working with what i have and i want you all to make sure you do the same thing too and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell follow me on all the things i upload every tuesday and sometimes on sundays i'd love for you all to be a part of the handcraft from home family i love you guys stay positive and i'll see you next time bye Feels like I've been over the past, down there.